This is really important for whole Ukraine and for whole world to know the truth, to know that happens now in Ukraine. In this war, I can say that I lost everything. I lost my my hometown, I lost my parents, and I even can't go now visit the day graves. Uh, so this is really hard to speak about this. It's an awful situation that the world is at the moment. The awful situation where the humanity shows itself at its worst and at its best. Tragedies are happening. But what's important is that the whole world stands together, like today, and helps. Because in the end there is no difference between the human life. When human life is unnecessarily lost, that is a tragedy. So us, I think the world that is in peace at the moment should help. And I think this is what we're doing. Everybody who watched this now, please help Ukraine. Please continue to do what you do. Please continue to stay with Ukraine and help support Ukraine. Since day one, when the world learned about Russia's invasion on Ukraine, we stood wholeheartedly, like many millions of people around the world, with Ukrainians and wanted to find a way to support their fight for freedom. We've observed the fast-growing refugee crisis. Thousands of lives have been lost and millions have been disrupted. And at that point we knew that words and signs of solidarity are simply not enough. So we went to Lviv with the Sunday Times art critic Valdemar Januszta to report on Ukraine's effort to protect their artworks and precious heritage. But we also wanted to show solidarity and give voice to our brothers and sisters from Ukraine and especially to create an opportunity to raise funds to support most vulnerable, the children. And this is where the idea for Solis was born. We've set the bar really high, creating a fundraising concert consisting of renowned artists and composers in just about four weeks, task almost impossible to fulfill. But through some sleepless nights and enormous work from our friends and partners who wanted to support Ukraine, we were able to make it happen. And the response has been incredible, from the initiators of this idea, Joseph Alford, through Paulina Leitam, who took upon herself to actually produce the event, to immense and crucial help from Orion Orchestra's Jan Cassidy, composer Roxana Panufnik, Elżbieta Penderecka, and many, many more. And my analogy for that is um, the military junta trying to suppress these brave people. I'm so proud uh, to be Polish and to be um, part of a, a nation who's welcomed Ukrainian refugees. Being a Ukrainian myself, this whole issue is very close to my heart and at times I feel very helpless because I am in this country I'm fortunate to be safe where the sum of my family actually is still in Ukraine including my father and extended family. In a, in a terrible situation that's going on in the Ukraine uh, music is the one thing that can bring us all together. To be able to to bring our music and our hearts to this will be so special. The music can provide the words that we don't have sometimes. John Gilhooly kindly offered us a date at the prestigious Wigmore Hall, while the Royal Academy of Music provided a rehearsal studio. We found a suitable charity to support SOS Children's Villages, providing help to Ukrainian children without paternal care or at risk of losing it. Finally, after four weeks of intensive work, here we are at Whitmore Hall and Solis, the fundraising concert for Ukraine, is about to begin. I think the world has really noticed Poland's contribution to this crisis. And in fact, my husband is Polish. So I've seen the stress in his face about his family back home. And I've heard more about 
what's been going on in Poland than I think we hear on the news in the UK. Musicians, our most powerful weapon, so to say, is music. Music will unite us, bring solace. Good evening. We are joined by truly remarkable artists and guests, everyone showing unity and support for Ukraine. The rich and unique program will present music from Ukrainian composers like Miroslav Skorik, Plato Mayboroda or Lesia Dyczko. There are also compositions by Robert Schumann, Richard Strauss, Roxana Panufnik, and also composers who experienced war and trauma themselves. It's written on real life events of World War II and it's hardly relevant towards the situation right now with the war going on in Ukraine. It's become a sort of soul anthem of Ukraine. This uh, choice was made because I want to raise my voice with my people, with my country, and bring their music to modern British people. These composers right now experience war in their life personally. So at least I can perform the music to support Ukrainian composers and raise my voice with my people. The Schumann, the duet that we are performing, has a really um, wonderful text about searching and searching for love, but not finding it. And I think um, it can resonate right now with a lot of people that feel um, lost in this world. It's about the, the courage, the valor of the king. And, um, and the reason that I wanted to use this was because I think we've all been incredibly impressed by the courage of Vladimir Zelensky, the president of Ukraine. I was thrilled when Roxana Panufnik uh, got in touch with me to speak about the concert that was taking place to support uh, the charity which is helping the refugees from Ukraine. Um, when she sent the piece and I read the words and thought about the images that we're seeing on the television screens at the moment from Ukraine, it's a privilege to be able to do this and to be a part of this special event. Every single piece that, that I play is, is, is very special. I'll, I'll play a uh, Chopin cello sonata with, with Kasper. As musicians, we can just help through art. We are just trying to share this art and you know, get some money from it and send it to Ukraine in order to make people's life easier and, or at least a little bit less terrible. play uh, Penderecki's Chacon 
that would be actually a, a British premiere of the piece. It was one of my favorite pieces when, as a nine-year-old. And I, I'm very deeply happy to be able to put music at the service of bigger causes today. All of us at the Polish Cultural Institute are truly grateful to all who attended today's event, as well as donated in support of children in Ukraine. We hope that events like this one will continue to foster solidarity and also offer tangible support and solace to those who suffer so much and constantly need our help. Mm -hmm.